Hey guys, today I want to show you how to remove or replace your power supply unit on a Canon printer, Canon inkjet printer. It's going to be most of the Canon PIXMA models. Um, this is an MG6620, but like I said, it's going to be most uh, printers of this, of uh, Canon PIXMA. Um, the power supply is going to be located over here on this side of the printer. If you're looking at the printer, it's going to be on the far left corner. Um, I'm going to flip the printer on its side and show it to you. So, here we go. This is where the power supply is. I have the printer turned off. If When you're doing this, you got to make sure you turn the printer off. Power supply is right there. Uh, I'm going to put it on a different side so we can get a better view. Okay, here we go. Um, so, we have it on a different side now. This is where the power supply is. And it's usually just held by two clips. One is going to be here and one here. Sometimes, like uh, MX870, for example, is going to have one screw in about this area that you just need to remove and then unclip it. Sometimes it'll be just one clip and one screw. Um, but most of the time, it's just a very simple process. You'll be able to figure it out as soon as you get to it. Um, there's printers like... Um, IP960, for example, they have a bar that goes right here. It's more of a bar power supply, and it's a bit different, but what you do there is just one or two clips that you press, and you just, um, as soon as you start gently wiggling it out of place, you'll figure it out how to pull, pull it out. So this one, like most printers, unclip this here. Remove this clip. You may want to use a flathead screwdriver. This just comes out. And it's going to be attached by a cord or two cords. Two wires. In this case, it's right here. I'm just going to disconnect that. And our power supply is ready. Um, most of them are going to have the part number on the unit itself. So this one is right here, the K30354. Sometimes they have them printed here, which is also a part number that you can use to search for your power supply. Um, and I'm not sure if this one has, yeah, it, this one does have it. Right here, the, the numbers that, um, for example, this one is QC, your QC47328 is the part number, another part number that you might search it by. These, um, they may not all match. But if you have, for example, K30354, this is going to be the one, even if this is not going to be printed here. So, um, and you can always compare it to what it looks like, and especially the connection. Like the connection here, it has one, two, three, four, five, I believe. It's a bit hard to see, but five prong. Um, in any case, this is how to remove it or replace the power supply. When you're putting it back, Make sure you connect it the right way. Do not ever shove it in there. It should go in there easily, but push it all the way, all the way in to where it clicks. And it's clipped into space now. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel if you want more um, tips on the printer, uh, repairs and stuff like that. Thank you, have a great day.